Welcome to the first review of Lord of the Flies. We're looking at setting, conflict, and characters today. The setting of a novel is defined as the place, weather, time, season, and mood of any story. To find that, we're going to look at our checklist. Look for the time of day, day of week, month, season, or year, any specific dates or historical details, any feelings about a particular place, place names like city, state, or country, and then the physical environment, including weather conditions and landscape. The setting of Lord of the Flies is described quite adequately. First, we're told about the physical landscape of rocks, the lagoon, the scar the plane crashed into the jungle. They talk about the things that are growing and the birds that fly out of the ground. Also, we talk about the home countries, a terminology for England and the other allies during World War II. Also, they mention the atom bomb, which brings out an idea that possibly this is during World War II. The mood is presented by Ralph. He says, this is a good island, and he really means it. There's good water, there's fruit, and then we get very descriptive discussions of the landscape and weather. It's hot, there are rocks, there is jungle. We have a very clear setting of our island. Next, we need to look at external conflict. These are the struggles that occur outside the protagonist's mind. They also are the conflicts that drive the plot. The first example of external conflict is that the boys are stranded on an island. Peggy says that the airplane is severed in two and the pilot is killed, that they're gunned down by another airplane. Also, an atom bomb was dropped and everyone that knows who they are are dead. They're stranded completely. External conflicts build on the island. Since they're stranded, the boys need rescued. To do so, they build a signal fire. But how to start it? Once burning, the fire grows so quickly and runs out of control. It burns down the side of a mountain, down a hillside, and ends up killing one of the boys. Below, in your lesson, you'll learn about the types of external conflict. But know here that when we see Ralph and Jack face off on who's going to be chief, that's an excellent example of man versus man external conflict. On the other hand, we have internal conflict, and these are struggles that go on inside of a protagonist's mind. In confidence, Peggy tells Ralph what he was called in school, and Ralph takes that confidence and shares it with the whole group, even though Peggy doesn't want to be known that way. So, afterward, we have this indecision. He hovered between two courses of apology and further insult. Internal conflict. Similarly, when a group of explorers, Ralph, Simon, and Jack, come across a piglet stuck in a thicket, they decide they're going to kill the pig. Jack drew a knife again with flourish. He raised his arm in the air. There was a pause, a hiatus. The pig continued to scream and the creepers to jerk, and the blade continued to flash at the end of a bony arm. The pause was only long enough for them to understand what an enormity the downward stroke would be. Later, we have an example of what Jack says that shows off his internal conflict. I was choosing a place. I was just waiting for a moment to decide where to stab him. This concludes our overview, but below you have the rest of your lesson. Your objectives are identify the setting of the novel, recognize internal conflict, recognize types of external conflict, specifically man versus man and man versus society, Record the symbols of the novel and infer their meanings. Good luck.